Hi, welcome back to my Allen Bradley PLC test bench. Today we're going to sh I'm going to show you how to change the battery in a panel view 1000E. These are the older versions and it's not just a matter of taking a battery, opening it up, plug it in and walk away. You have to disassemble the entire unit and take it to somebody that's got the little welding machine for the tabs on the battery because the battery is soldered onto the main board. So, swing around here as we usually do and uh, we'll have a look at it. Back in a sec. Okay, we're back. So here's the first step. As you can see on the bottom here, we've got a big red X and it says battery test failed. User RAM will be lost on power down. So if you lose power for more than about 60 to 70 seconds, it clears the memory. And when you power it up, you have to reach around to the key switch at the back, go into the configuration mode, select your application, in this case it's called Pulp 41, select it, OK, and now it's loaded it back into memory. So when this happens, you have to change your battery. So what you do, and you can see right here how it says 011080, the time was time and date was set to today, and when it powered down and was off, it cleared that time. So we go into terminal diagnostics, and there's a battery test. That's how critical this is, and it says fail. So now we have to change. You know, you got to change the battery. So exit from there. What we'll do is we'll power down and I'll change the camera around so you can see what I'm doing. Back in a sec. Okay, so as with most of this Allen Bradley equipment, you need a number two Phillips. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws you have to remove. Remove the last screw and lift this up straight. There are two connectors one for the fan, and the other one is for the key switch. And it's kind of difficult to get it off, but there it is. Okay, move that off to the side, put your screws into a container so you don't lose them. And this is the board we have to re remove. There is our battery. Right back there, little yellow BR3A. So, to get this board off, there's two more screws. Turn this around and hopefully you can see. Yep. One screw there, one screw there. And that loosens off the power supply and keypad touch face interface and it, you see it's tie wrap there or it's not tie wrap there it's got a little clip holding there and these are just under here to protect so hopefully protect the screen okay so loosen off or you take these two Okay, this guy, you have to take and unplug it. The power supply here. Okay, the ribbon cable here. And then this guy, you have to cut the tie wrap. Undo this plug, and again, these have all got these little clips on them to keep them secure. 
right? And this one here. So everything here is now clear, and again, there is our battery. So, on this board, our main computer board, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. Okay, and there we go. So now, put this back down here. Um, have to take this to my battery guy, and this is soldered in. Now, hopefully, when we look at the back end, connections there and there. What our battery replacement shop is going to do is cut this off here and here and they take and have the little welding machine that welds the tabs on and then solder everything back together and this is a BR two-thirds A again a very specialty battery I don't even see a date on it so anyhow uh, I've got to take this in and we'll be back the board will be ready in two days and we'll continue the video then. Uh, reassembly and test. Back in a couple of days. Thank you.